Shaka's Aloha Crafty Friends, it's Maka from Maka's Home. I am here today to share with you some backgrounds that I made from these Distressed Oxide inks from Tim Holtz. I use this Chip Sapphire, I use the Salty Ocean, and I use some Peacock Feathers um, in that order from top to bottom on those papers. I'm going to show you how I did those in a minute. They're just with, you know, blending brushes and blend them out. I tried not to make them so spotty and blend them more from one color to another color. I'll just zoom in here a little so you can uh, see better. Although I have a hard time keeping uh, the paper in the camera. And I'm sorry if you can hear um, dogs barking and people talking. I have my window open because it is a nice day here in Arizona. And so here I am just blending. Um, I'm realizing as I do more blending is that uh, you really need to have patience. Like you can keep blending it out. Like there's no end to the blending. <laughs> you can just keep going, keep going until you get the, uh, you know, the effect that you want. And I don't want like abrupt color transitions. I want it to blend in. So that's what I'm trying to do. Here I'm doing the salty ocean and I always um, start off the page and blend on the page. Like off and then blend toward on the page because you, when you put your brush in the ink, it's always really dark when you first place it down. And so you want to have a more consistent coverage and um, you know start off the page and then blend on the page. And so as I put the color down, some people wait till the end to blend in their colors. I do it as I'm laying the colors down and then um, at the end I'll come back if, if I feel I need to. But you can see it's kind of splotchy. It's not like an even blend. And you can see some parts where I, were, I was heavier handed than others with the ink, which I don't really mind because it kind of, you know, gives shadows. And, and I think um, I'm going to be using this for an ocean um, type deal. So there are shadows in the ocean. But here is the peacock feathers I um, it's a good workout I had to switch hands <laughs> but it's very uncomfortable using my left hand since I'm right-handed and so uh, I switch back to my right hand but I'm trying to blend out that white line between the peacock feathers and the salty ocean and so I just keep blending blending in circular motions there's different blending brushes. I'm not sure, um, you know, I don't really like these ones that I use. I got them from Amazon. The neck is kind of flimsy. I feel like I always need to put pressure, which I'm not sure if you're supposed to be putting that much pressure when you're blending, but I feel like I can control it more when I add more pressure. So they're not, um, comfortable in my hand either I don't know how to explain it I mean they work sorry Aka. no they work but um, you know I'm gonna be on the hunt for something more colorful if you guys have any suggestions I would love to hear about them in the comments below thank you very much and so here I'm just getting my um, Stampin up spritzer pen I don't know spritzer but I just like it, it does a nice mist of uh, water and so and drops so if you watch on the card eventually you'll be able to see bigger drops there are some um, there should be a bigger drop there is another one and so um, and I just leave that there it reacts with the um, oxide and then you look like you have drops but so there's the panels that I've um, already made and I am going to add some sticky tape to this, double-sided tape. 
and I am going to adhere it to a A2 size card base, which is I think it's four and a quarter by five and a half. That's what it measures uh, folded. And then I cut out this um, scallop type of background piece and I'm using it like it's like waves. I'm gonna add it to the front of that. And I'm just um, looking for my stamp block to put on it so I could give it weight to dry. Uh, once I get that adhered down, I am going to put it aside and start cutting um, three more of those scalloped uh, water type of background. And I am going to adhere the panels that I colored onto A2 size card bases. And then um, to figure out what I'm going to use on the front of those and how I'm going to embellish it now that I've, I've gotten a nice, good surface to work with. So I'm still adding the layers. I've gotten into this uh, oxide kick and I've uh, accumulated quite a few by watching some great sales and things. And so I'm trying to build my collection because <laughs> I just need to build another collection. <laughs> but here you go. Here's the three backgrounds I've done so far. I believe right now is when I'm cutting out those uh, scallop background panels, but you can see I adhered them to car, uh, card bases, A2 size card bases. So I'll just let you finish watching, uh, watching the rest. There's not too much more of this. Enjoy. Okay, I'm back. These are the cards I ended up with. I'm not done with them, but I added a little stitchy. And he says, sending birthday wishes on your happy day. So I covered most of it up. And then I just added a space to right there. Um, this I haven't glued down yet. I... I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do there for that one and I'm still trying to work on a sentiment for this this one here but yeah I like how they came out so I hope you do too <laughs> if you are new here welcome if you're returning welcome back please consider liking and subscribing and joining me on this crafty journey for more videos like these see here and until my next video, shakas.